bonjour, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. It's fun for just one player, but more fun with a hundred.
All right then. Before we get started, don't forget new players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's go. You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from the following fact categories. There are no wild buffalo in North America. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. Tiny shrimp live in New York City's tap water. <laughs> Tony Danza turned down the role of Indiana Jones. The SpongeBob theme song won three Grammys. Four of the last five U.S. presidents were born lefties. Russian President Vladimir Putin wrestled a yak after being re-elected. Wow. Because of their phallic nature, Puritans forbade women from handling telescopes. Everyone stands at the end of round one. Here are your next seven fact categories. Australia Day celebrates the day ships full of convicts first arrived to Australia. Nostradamus was the top Google search for days after the 9-11 attacks. Thomas Edison is credited in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> Most energy drinks actually have far less caffeine than a can of Coke. There's a species of cockroach that only lays eggs in ears. OPI makes a nail polish color called Ladies and Magentamen. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a Guinness record for the number of times skipping a nugget on a lake. Here are your scores. For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is Secret Service Code Names. Some of these code names assigned by the Secret Service are true. And you guessed it, some are lies. Dick Cheney's Secret Service Code Name is Unkillable. Hillary Clinton's Secret Service code name is Rawhide. <coughs> Ronald Reagan's Secret Service code name was Bonzo. Donald Trump's Secret Service code name is Zeus. <coughs> Dan Quayle's Secret Service code name is Potato. Ted Kennedy's Secret Service code name was Sunburn. <laughs> Prince Charles' Secret Service code name is Unicorn. Let's see the final scores.
萌。Drawful. I see we've got a seven-player game. You couldn't talk one more player into joining. Oh well. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something kind of strange, like Cobra Commander or the Chris Gethard Show. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send, and you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So get to drawing. Are in. Oh man, I can't wait for you to see them. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been, or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Hey! Now pick the title you think really inspired this drawing. Hey! All right, who picked what? Hey! Delicious poison. And our next weird doodle. Type in a convincing title now.
here are your choices. Hey! Hi. Thing. And here are your picks. And we are done with this one. Oh. Okay, our next drawing. Pick something. Ah! What did everybody pick? I might try to forget any of this ever happened. Um. Enter your titles now. Here's everybody's picks. I'm just glad that we all got to share this moment. This thing. Hey. 
Got that? I expected more from you. Everybody was just way off on this one. Um. Type in your titles now. What did everybody pick? Ta-ching! 
Well, that was fun. Hey! Welcome to Fibbage. My name is Cookie and I'll be officiating the proceedings. Think of me as the bluffery. We have eight players. A great number for Fibbage. Also a good number if you're starting a street gang. Just FYI. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. Alright, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. PETA has asked officials in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania to replace Punxsutawney Phil, the Groundhog Day Groundhog, with blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the Lie For Me button for half the points. Do it now. for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, there are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device by touching the answer you want. Okay, let's take a look. to the board goes unselected. Time to pick a category. It's not hard. You know what, we'll just stick with this one. 
Okay, here's the question. A study conducted at Tufts University by psychology grad student Nicholas Rule found that people have the ability to point out blank in a crowd. Enter your lies now. If you can't think of anything, okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody selected. Great lie there. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. It's time for a road trip. When in Port Vila, Vanuatu, be sure to check out their post office, which is unusual because it is blank. Type in your lies now. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> Unlike American post offices that are just metaphorically underwater. And that means some of these didn't get picked. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 1726, a British woman named Mary Toft convinced doctors that she had given birth to blank. Enter your lies now. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, 
Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Who picked what? And it was also... That was weird. <laughs> and that means... Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A science student in Nepal has created an innovative solar panel that is far cheaper to make than a traditional solar panel because it's made with blank. Type in your lies now. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. All right, where's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? That was a great lie. And we're done. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. When Charlie and the Chocolate Factory author Roald Dahl died, he was buried with snooker cues, burgundy, chocolate, pencils, and a blank. Enter your lies now. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody picked. That 
was a big one. And look what we have here. Which left him very little room to roll over in his grave when Tim Burton's Willy Wonka movie came out. And nobody picked the other lies up there. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. Jimmy Hoffa's unusual middle name. Type in your lies now. for me, button if you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Wow, that was one hell of a lie. A hell of a lie. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies.
I'm Cookie Masterson, and this ain't my first rodeo. I go to that next week. Whee! Wow, we got ourselves a large group. I feel a lot of love here, but it's mostly coming from me. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. It's time for a road trip. When on a spring break trip to Dongyang, China, be sure to try their eggs cooked in blank. Enter your lies now. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. Who picked what? And it was also... Great minds think alike. You guys blew it. For a healthier option, try egg white cooked in gluten-free young boy urine. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. Blair Tolman wrote a self-help book called Blank for Under a Dollar, 301 Ideas. Type in your lies now. If you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Nice lie. Disclaimer, all of them will be first dates. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Evergreen Cemetery includes an odd statue of Jesus wearing blank. Enter your lies now. Use a 
suggestion if you can't think of anything. All right, where's the truth? All right, who picked to watch? Lots of suckers on that one. Evergreen Cemetery is, of course, in Texas. And that means... Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. Let's do it. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. Bill Bennett made news in 2004 when he was able to sell just a single ordinary blank on eBay. Type in your lies now. If you can't think of something. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody picked. Wow, that was one hell of a lie. A hell of a lie. Pick the other lies up there. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A man in Watertown, New York, claims to have been happily married for over 25 years to his wife, Tegan, who is strangely a blank. Enter your lies now. anything. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. See what everybody selected. A 
think it's admirable that he stayed with her after her accident. And we're done. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Cambridge University economist Ha Jun Chang holds an unpopular opinion. He insists that the blank changed the world more than the internet. Type in your lies now. Hit the line for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, what did everyone pick? And the rest of the board goes unselected. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Here's your final Fibbage question. Former First Lady Barbara Bush wrote an official apology letter to this fictional character in 1990. And to your lies now. anything. All right, where's the truth? See what everybody selected. That was a big one. The letter said, I'm sorry I had a cow. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies.